So we are in Kingscliff because Kingscliff is New South Wales and uh, Palm Beach Reef is Queensland and Queensland right now has a ban on Spanish mackerel so even though you could release them it's uh yeah it's better to just go down here Got a shark or some Spanish underneath me. There's something under there. I'll keep my feet in. Given how many sharks we've had around lately. I had one friend, he was on a boat, he said he had a three meter and a four meter bull shark underneath him yeah, I mean, might have exaggerated a little bit I don't know but he lost seven fish so and uh, yeah one of the kayakers here he he lost one and the next time he went out the shark took another one and bit his kayak so yeah keep your feet in that's what I reckon Man, it's a beautiful spot. Like looking down there, that looks nice. <sighs> I just enjoy being out here. Anyway, we're here to fish. I'm hoping for uh, some Spanish mackerel. I'll take anything edible. I've got the freezer full of fish, but uh, don't have a f any fresh fish right now. So that's what we're looking for. There we go, that's one. I'm kind of done with bait springs. I'm going back to my normal rigs. Maybe because I'm used to them, I don't know. Let's see, red, green, white. So once that one said blue, about 30 meters out. We'll see how we go, 15.5 meters. It shouldn't be any waves breaking here, but whether there's some fish here, I don't know. We're just gonna paddle until we find them. Reconnaissance, that's what we're doing right now. Reconnaissance. Just enjoying this morning and doing some reconnaissance. All right, I'll get back to you if we uh, find some fish. That was cool. It went from five meters to 23 meters. Uh, a lot different to Palm Beach. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea where I'm fishing or where anyone else is. So, reconnaissance, reconnaissance. Sun is not up, but it's not far away. So, so far we're all good. Look at this view. It's like a painting most awesome photograph you've ever seen wow it's crazy how blessed we are here oh a lot of fish here a lot of fish sitting mid-surface they don't look like they are 
Doesn't look like mackerel, but it doesn't look like bait fish either. Oh wow, it's everywhere. It's lit up. Oh, and I see a bird over there. All right, maybe it will happen. Here we go. Yes. Did he come on? Yeah. What have we got? Not big. Oh, some, oh, oh maybe, maybe a little bit big. What's this gonna be? Not a barracuda, I hope. Not a, oh, yes, yes. Someone's not happy. It's not really behaving like a uh Whoa. Is that a mackerel? Must be. Surely. Spotty. I don't know what to tell you. Just didn't look like mackerel in the sounder, but certainly fighting like one. It's a lot of head bumps, but now nah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna call it for a Spanish. Yeah. Are we a Spanish? What are we? It's not huge. We're on red, and it's 26 meters here, so. Very exciting. That's leader. Oops, that's silver. Is it GT maybe? I don't want a GT. Oh, it looks like Spanish. Yes, yes. That's exactly what we came here for. We can land this guy. Yes. So if this is a Spanish, the spot I marked will have a lot of Spanish. All right. Maybe we'll try and gaff it. I try not to gaff them, but I also don't want to lose them. Good size Spanish. So is that a massive school of Spanish or is it? Is it the Spanish that was chasing something else? Yeah, bad day mate, sorry. when you tell you right oh, Spanish mackerel exactly what we came here for that's where we go here where we're allowed Spanish mackerel exactly what we came here for very happy. I think I'm allowed five of these as so long as they're over 75 centimeters. Uh, my girlfriend's arriving from Canada in a couple of days so I really want some fresh fish for her and I really want to figure out this fishing while we have a lockdown over up in Queensland. So yeah super happy to make it happen. Oh yeah all right let's get these baits out and uh, 
Keep going. <laughs> Craziness. Crazy, crazy fishing. Oh. Sorry, I see there's a little bit of stuff on the lens, but... Coming for you here, Jared. I'm coming straight for you. <laughs> All right. I'll try to steer right. <laughs> Spotty, spotty, spotty. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Can get organized here and get him in. A little bit fresh. Yeah, you're not going anywhere. You're coming with me. Oh, yeah. Oof. All right. Here we go. Nice little spotty. Perfect. I thought this was another Spanish. I thought he pulled harder. Spotty pull harder. I mistake them for Wahoo all the time. I'm right over them again. I think we got a fish on. It's not happy. Not happy. Taking a lot of line here. All right, this might be cool for paddling a bit. It's going right under my line. Maybe we can do it still. I'll keep that paddle handy though. Oh no. Ooh, that's the first fish I've lost in a long time. Wow. Man. Here we go. Oh, is it coming towards me? No. There's some pressure. Oh, no. That's my other bait. So I think we may have lost our hook. 
Yeah, a treble. So he was obviously stuck in the treble. So after I've noticed like after a while when you've put a bit of pressure on the um, on the swivels, they get torn out and then they actually come through the hooks. So yeah, that's the first fish I've lost in a long time. All right, that was a bit unfortunate. I even checked the rig, I thought. But, uh, yeah, it happens. I've noticed it before when I catch fish that the hook falls off. So, my mistake, should swap the rigs, I guess. So, yeah, one Spanish, one spotty. End result. I wonder what the other one was. Given that it ran pretty hard, I'm going to say spotty. But uh, we'll never know. We'll never know.